って、えー、まあムカついて私をもう一度逮捕したんだなって思っています。私はどこの会社員でもなく、フリーランスで、まあ、お金もなかったからこそ、あのなんでこれが歪説なのかということを、あの真正面から戦えたんですね、あのもし会社経営者とか、えー、っと会社員とかあの、次に仕事がもう決まっている人が逮捕されたら、その仕事をあのキャンセルしたくないのために罰金を払ってあの罪を認めて出てしまうというパターンはすごく多くてそれで30年ぐらいあのずっとおかしな法律が、えー、と歪説の175条という法律が全く変わらなかったのでそういう理由だったんですけど、えー、だから私は持たなかった何も持っていなかったから。えー、と反発できたんですけど、まあ、一般の方みたいにあの家族がいたり、えー、と組織に所属している人だと検閲そ国の検閲された時にとても困るんじゃないのかなって思いますね。うんとあはい I think, yeah, definitely, like not being able to get published in the media is a, a really serious form of censorship. But, you know,、um, having been censored by the state myself,、uh, basically, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not affiliated with any company. I don't work for a particular company. I'm a freelancer. I have no money. And so, the, like, the idea of my work being obscene was, you know, why is it obscene? So I've always been out there fighting. But if, Say, I was like someone who had a lot of ties or worked for a company or was worried about my next job and I was arrested. You know,、uh, there's a lot of cases like that where people just pay the fine and admit their guilt so they don't lose everything.、Um, you know, this, this、uh, obscenity law hasn't changed in like 30 years, so there's all these people in that position. And I personally have nothing basically, so I can keep fighting. But,、um, you know, regular people with Who have like families or other things that they need to worry about, I really think they have, like, it's really problematic for them, that kind of situation. Reserve your applause for our panel for a moment and combine it with applause for yourself.